Hi you guys, welcome to my Venus Through Sign series. This is for Venus in Cancer for the month of December 2017. Um, I've already shuffled and cut the cards. Um, and also, I'm sorry, I almost forgot to mention, uh, those of you that don't know where your Venus is placed, um, you can pause this video, go to any free uh, website, astrology website, uh, such as astro.com, Enter in your birth time, place, and day. You don't have to know your exact time to know where Venus is placed. Um, you can put 12 p.m. That's fine. Um, enter that. It's going to generate a free birth chart for you. Just look and see where Venus is sitting. If it's sitting in the sign of uh, Cancer, this is for you. Um, I feel like it's something I keep wanting to say after I say that. Um, but yeah. Um, Oh, and also if your sun and um, Venus are sitting in the same sign, uh, that's okay. This still applies to you as well. Um, okay, so like I said, I already shuffled and cut the cards. Let's go ahead and begin. Um, remember, these are general readings, so they may or may not resonate. Uh, hopefully they do resonate with you guys and also um, I'm using um, a new deck uh, this is vice versa tarot um, there are pictures on each side um, so I'm only going to pull a few cards um, I was going to do uh, more the, like the I usually do like three rows but um, I'm feeling like for right now, you guys, that is becoming uh, uh, time consuming for my schedule. So I'm just going to do um, these few cards here. And then if I feel like I need to clarify something, then I will. Um, so sorry, you guys. I know you guys love seeing all the cards. Um, OK, so the heart of the situation here, we have the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Nine of Swords. We have the King of Swords. The Hermit. We have the Three of Pentacles. And the Four of Pentacles. Okay, um, let's see here. So with the heart of the matter being the Queen of Pentacles, I'm feeling like some of you could be dealing with an earth sign um, or you yourself. I think you can still be Taurus with Venus in Cancer. Yeah. Um, or it could be you. So um, this is an earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, um, especially Virgo energy here. And... Um, some of you may also be dealing with uh, Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. So some air signs. Um, but this person is very um, responsible. Um, I feel like this person is very much into their health. Um, they're very laid back. They also may be into healing uh, or organic foods or, um, you know, going the organic route, like a holistic healer of some sort. I feel like this person is very close to nature and animals are naturally just kind of drawn to them. But I'm seeing that you're having like a lot of anxieties here with the nine of swords uh, there's something that has been bothering you. I feel like you're stressing out about something. Uh, your thoughts could be keeping you up at night. Um, you Or you keep thinking about this person. Someone is like constantly on your mind and you don't want to think about them for whatever reason. Um, but I feel like you're being having like some sort of uh, attack, like an anxiety attack. Um Hmm. With anxiety attacks to a lot of times, you know, these are just imaginary fears like you're worrying, you're creating your own fears. It's like 
you're taking one thing and taking it all out of context and now you just can't get your mind right uh, so this is being overwhelmed with your own inner thoughts uh, taking the messages the wrong way you're just there's a big misunderstanding in communication or someone says something and you just you just took it and ran with it so I just kind of feel like you're being stressed um, this month and with the king of swords here um, you could like I said you could be dealing with an air sign but this person is very direct I almost want to say that it's a possible that this person is stressing you out or manipulating you or playing mind games I just kind of feel like they feel like they're very intellectual and I, I almost want to say this is making me think of like the magician card you can't out with this person because there's they're very intelligent uh, they know what they're doing they've been doing it for a while um, you know but I mean it's not like they're a bad person but you know they they know how to manipulate and get what they want they're very direct they can be very um, distant and I feel like they have a big ego Um, now here we have uh, the hermit and I feel like with the hermit you might be spending some time to yourself um, if you are single I feel like you may be stressing yourself out about someone uh, there could be someone on your mind that you can't stop thinking about or you might be becoming overwhelmed having a fear of being single or a fear of being alone um, wondering when are you going to meet this person when are they going to come into your life but I see that eventually you're going to become constructive with this time to yourself and you're going to be doing some sort of research and becoming enlightened during this time for some of you you're literally thinking about going back to school or you're studying uh, doing some sort of research in regards to your job or new career um, but for the most part I just kind of feel this is more so personal like you're uh, on a spiritual journey uh, and doing some sort of soul searching and you might also be looking for someone looking for advice or looking to see what to do I also feel that the things that you learn you become um, a beacon of light for others through your experiences you're able to share your wisdom and the lessons that you've learned with other people but the hermit is about kind of like isolation and, and being to yourself um, even if you're with someone for whatever reason the things that they're putting you to through is making you uh, more um, mature um, I just feel like you're becoming more wise about your self-worth and the things that you value and the things that are important to you and uh, spirituality may be one of those things that's very important to you I feel like for some of you, you could be researching um, a new group like a new group to join like a, a social group or a prayer group um, something to do with groups I feel like you're looking for information you might just be joining uh, different groups on to, to trying to find somewhere where people share your beliefs For some of you, you're doing research um, for a doctor um, or doing research on your health. Maybe your spouse, I don't know if they could be going through anything. Maybe they're having health issues because pinnacles can represent health issues as well. Uh, so you might be looking into some sort of facility for your spouse, whether it's um, uh, therapy, um, counseling, or you know something dealing with the physical body I 
also you may be the leader on um, or researching like a new job or being like the team leader and doing some sort of charity work. For some of you, I feel like you're looking for charity work for some reason uh, or working with the common people. Um, maybe you want to teach them like you're looking for um, uh, a position where you're in, like a, for education. So you're uh, maybe a professor um, and you're enlightening people or you started a, a small school or you started a small group and you're teaching people or enlightening people. And we got the four of pinnacles here as well. So that is telling me that I just kind of feel again like you're being isolated and you're like an outsider looking in or you know, you're you're keeping to yourself. I feel like you're um, you're somewhere sitting and just kind of watching people live and wondering about your life. It's like I feel like you're stuck or I feel like some sort of blockage. Also, someone may have turned their back on you or may have blocked you like they're ignoring you. They're not listening to you and they're being stubborn. Uh, someone's not ready to open up. Um, they're preoccupied with their own issues or their own life. Also, I'm feeling, too, that um, your finances could be tight um, that's another thing I feel like I'm picking up, like outside of love matters, or maybe it's a shared matter in your relationship or marriage, but finances are stressing you out and you're wondering what you're going to do and you're feeling kind of trapped, like you're in your parents' basement, um, being dictated, you know, treated like a child, And so now you're really trying to find a place to stay or you're looking for a job. You might be looking for a roommate uh, because you're stressing out financially. So there's something going on with your finances as well. I feel like you're mostly focused on finances and health. Um, let me clarify some things here. So, okay, the Nine of Swords is clarified by the Page of Pentacles. So, again, this is having to do with some Earth sign. Um, it, again, it could be you being worried and stressed out, or you are worried and stressed out over an Earth sign. So, something's going on. And also, it could be something, uh, like I said, in regards to health and or financial matters, Um feeling like you're maybe starting over again or like your your money issues like you don't have enough money or something and then the hermit i got clarified by temperance so that is telling me that i do feel like this is some sort of spiritual path and healing um 
I just kind of feel like you're learning and healing from the things that you're researching. You might be researching medicine as well or looking for some sort of treatment or maybe your partner or spouse is. And then the Four of Pentacles, we have clarified by the Six of Pentacles. So um, I, I feel like you are waiting to receive uh, some money. I don't know if you apply for some sort of assistance or if you're thinking about asking somebody for some assistance or money. Um, but the Six of Pentacles usually is showing that you're being given something um, I feel like you're in need of something or like you're you're holding tight onto something. Something's going to be shared with you that you need. It could be information. I feel like you're waiting too. Hmm. Yeah, so, I mean, those of you with Venus and Cancer, it's not like a whole lot of love coming out um, for you guys. It's, I am seeing, um, you know, more so stress on finances, so I don't know what you're going through. Um, if you're single, you know, I just don't really see any strong connections here. Uh, you might find yourself attracted to someone who's very spiritual, very intuitive, or like a healer or something. Um... But, you know, I, I, I don't really see anything developing just yet. Things are just kind of on hold. I just feel like, you know, you're stressing about things and you should just uh, attend to your well-being at this time. Um, okay, so you guys, I hope this has helped. Uh, remember, these are just general readings, so they may or may not have resonated. Uh, but feel free to email me for your private readings at uh, namat76 at gmail.com. That's in the description box below. Uh, please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and also leave your comments or any feedback. Uh, thank you so much for your time and many blessings to you.